this weather, here's Joe. A very blustery start to Burns night this evening and we have a cold front moving in tonight introducing colder air for the rest of the week. A few showers around but also some sunshine in the mix. Here are the details. Thanks to Catherine Tabum for today's weather photo taken in Southport on a sunnier day than today. Please do send us yours. We'll try and show as many as we can over the next few days. Now, weather-wise, feeling colder from tonight as that cold front nudges in. The rest of the week, showery with some sunshine around. Tonight, I think between now and midnight, rain will push in, some of it heavy. And the back end of it, as the cold weather nudges in behind, will turn a little bit wintry. So some sleep perhaps up on higher ground in the Cumbrian Fells and the Pennines between now and dawn. Also, one or two icy stretches on the roads tonight, so do be careful if you're out tonight or tomorrow morning early. Those are the sun times for tomorrow. It's going to set at 4.40 tomorrow afternoon. For most of us tomorrow, a much brighter day, but from the word go, plenty of showers around. Some of them containing perhaps hail, a rumble or two of thunder, and during the afternoon, up on higher ground in the Pennines, again, maybe falling asleep. But in between some decent sunny spells and temperatures up to around 6 or 7 degrees at best. Bye-bye. Let's get the latest weather from Joe, who's on the roof. Joe. Hi, Lucy. Yes, I'm actually hunkering down in the shed with Steve, the cameraman. It's horrible out there again this evening. Falling as rain here in Manchester, but don't be deceived as it hits frozen surfaces, quickly turning very icy for all parts of the region tonight. And more elevated levels are going to see some sleet and snow between now and midnight. We do, in fact, have a warning in place. It's a yellow warning tonight, nothing too much to worry about, but we will see some sleet and snow for the Peak District and the Pennines. And for all of us, it's going to be icy. Here are the details. Thanks very much to Rod Savage for this beautiful frosty scene. It's Aston by Budworth, which is near Nutsford and Cheshire, of course. Some lovely weather around first thing with bright and frosty skies. But we've quickly seen things turning very wintry over the last few hours. And we do have that warning in place for this evening and tonight. Icy and very wintry. Now, I have tweeted a few problem areas across the northwest. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Joe Blythe ITV. And for all of us, it's going to be very icy. But only a few spots will see that sleet and snow. Probably the Peak District and the Pennines real problem areas between now and midnight. So in a bit more detail then, overnight tonight, for all of us it's going to be wet and icy. Not as cold as last night. It did get down to around minus six. I think probably minus one, probably our limit tonight, but very icy and cold and miserable. And we will see some sleet and snow again on higher ground, particularly further south between now and dawn. Speaking of which, the sun is up at 7.41 and sets at nine minutes past five tomorrow evening. For tomorrow then, a very grey start to the day. We'll see some sleep and snow around through the rush hour. Again, down towards Derbyshire, the Peak District, parts of Cheshire. Not a good start to the day. And for all of us, very icy again. So do be careful if you have to go out on the roads. Not a great start to the day, damp and drizzly. It is going to improve a little bit. I have to say, into the afternoon, there could be some brightness for Pennine areas. I think probably for the Isle of Man, keeping wet all afternoon. And temperature-wise, it's cold, one or two Celsius at best. Looking ahead to the weekend, it's damp and grey and chilly but not quite as bitter as it has been and next week looks very unsettled wrap up warm and stay safe Yet to latest weather forecast here's joe on the roof garden thanks Anne. lovely and mild out here on the roof this evening which has been above average today we normally expect them to be about eight celsius at this time of year and we've been treated to double figures it's all nice and quiet in the run-up to the weekend as well with high pressure in charge here are the details <laughs> Thanks to Gary Chadbomb for this rather arty shot of Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. So high pressure in charge, the next few days are going to be nice and quiet and settled. There's a bit of cloud around, it has to be said, but very mild into the weekend and for next week too. In the meantime, this evening and tonight, a little bit of cloud building and that wind picking up just a touch, but we're free from frost, 5 or 6 Celsius the overnight low. Out of thicker cloud into Cumbria and North Lancashire, perhaps a bit of drizzle by tomorrow morning. On to tomorrow and the Sun Times, it's up at 6.39 and sets tomorrow evening at 4 minutes past 6. So, for tomorrow then, a bit of a grey and damp start to the day with some patchy rain or drizzle, perhaps some mistiness and low cloud around at first, so do be careful if you're out on the roads. Visibility could be a problem for a time. It will improve a little bit into the afternoon. Not much in the way of sunshine, but it will be a little bit drier, perhaps brighter for parts of Cheshire, and temperatures doing very nicely for the time of year. The outlook, a quiet weekend ahead with a bit of drizzle, but it remains mild. Bye-bye.